Today we're going to talk about fear of public speaking. So what do ESL students really fear? The biggest concern is when they think about speaking in a non-native language. You have the fluency, grammar challenges, intonation, making a mistake, that scares all of us, and most especially they think about who is listening to me. So then we have to look at the strategies. What are some things that I can do to decrease my fear? So most importantly, you start planning before your presentation. You have to be prepared. You need to think about being organized. And you have to rehearse, practice giving that speech. Now that your big day is here and you're getting ready for your presentation, you have to make sure that you eat a good meal that morning or afternoon. And right before your presentation, try to take a few deep breaths to calm you down. Okay, your presentation has started. And so during your speech, you should be using visual aids such as pictures, videos, and recordings. This way, your audience is looking at the pictures and listening to your sound instead of looking at you. And check in with yourself during your presentation. Pay attention to your body. Let's look at voice projection. If you speak softly, you should be practicing to speak a little bit louder when you're giving a speech. And let's take a look at eye contact. Don't just look at one person. Look at everyone in the audience. Your head should be going back and forth from side to side to make everyone feel like you are talking to them. And what about our nonverbal body movement? Hand gestures. Are you using your hands appropriately? Maybe too many gestures, maybe not enough. Our facial expressions, do you remember to smile during your presentation? And posture, are you standing in a professional way or your hands in the pockets and you're slouching? Or maybe you're chewing gum. These are all things we need to remember while we're standing in front of an audience giving a presentation. Congratulations, your presentation is done. So what do you do now? You should always thank your audience and remember to ask if anyone has a question. Okay, you're not done yet. Now it's time to think about how can I get better for my next presentation? So always remember, ask your teacher and other classmates how you can improve your presentation skills. So good luck on your next presentation.